You probably stumbled upon this video because you have a vice. You and many others like you are doing something that you want to quit, whether it's social media or watching adult content or smoking, for example. That was personally my vice and I quit it fast. So how did I do it? How did I break this habit? Because you find yourself relapsing all the time. You can't quit. How do you do it? So I'm gonna share with you a simple three-step method on how to quit any addiction. The third tip is a very secret tip that no one ever mentions. So tip number one starts with a story. I've been smoking for a long time and waking up one day and encountering a Andrew Huberman podcast really led me to panic because I see the effects on smoking on people, on their lungs, their organs, and it terrified me genuinely. So I've set out on a way to, how do I stop smoking? Because I need to quit. I don't want to die young. First of all, is you have to reprogram your brain. One is through basically will and just forcing your brain to just stop, and that's very difficult. But what I found was very interesting is self-hypnosis. Now, what I mean by that is you basically ask yourself three questions while being in the most relaxed state you can possibly be. It could be laying on your bed, closing your eyes, and ask yourself, does this vice actually help me? Second is, does it help the people around me, the people I love, the people I care? And the third, finally, is, can I survive without it? If you can answer all these questions, the next thing you have to do is force yourself to follow these three rules. Rule number one is that you are willing to do anything to defend your soul and body. Rule two, what you're doing now, the vice, it could be social media addiction, adult content, smoking, this vice is trying to destroy my life. It is trying to poison me. This is poison. Convince yourself, your, your knee-jerk reaction to whatever vice you've been doing should be, this is poison. I need to cut it out completely. And the third thing is the most important one, is I want to live a healthy and prosperous life. Repeat that constantly and then put yourself out of self-hypnosis. Now you have the building block, the foundation on stopping the addiction. If you feel any sort of need to do the vice again, you put yourself back into this state and repeat the steps again and again. At first, it will be very difficult. You will feel heavy effects of withdrawal. You have to persevere. You will make it. Just stay consistent and disciplined. Point number two, after I did the self-hypnosis, I came up to my sister and told her that. And she told me, nah, you won't do it. And I said, watch me. So she said, I will bet you 5,000 rubles, which is around 50 bucks, that you will smoke within the next two years. So I'm like, okay, no problem. If I don't smoke within the two years, then you owe me the same amount of money back. We shook hands and now I'm not allowed to smoke because there's this bet on me. So same thing with your advice. Get your mates, get your family, make a bet that you won't do this vice for the next two years, next three years, next five years. And if you do it, you have to pay a price. And do it worse than the 50 bucks. You have to be more, like sanction yourself fully. Because this is a vice, it's a poison. It, the first point leads into the second point. You already know that this is a poison. Now you have to sanction yourself if you partake in this poison. Now, the secret point is create a community around you that prevents you of doing this vice. Now, I personally found this community in HU, online platform that teaches people to make money with 18 modern wealth creation methods. In there, there's also a fitness campus and a lot of chats that discuss this specific subject of vices. There, people band together and become better every single day, create checklists, they work on themselves, become fitter, stronger, faster, quit all their vices. They're not allowed to watch adult content. They're not allowed to smoke. They're not allowed to drink. And they do that through propping each other up and helping each other with this big, big community. And this community is very cheap to access. Most communities are very expensive. This one only costs around the same amount that you use to buy lunch. If you're interested, then check the pinned comment below. But this is one of the most important points I can give you is build a community. If you don't wish to have 
like a paid community, then you have to either build one yourself or you have to find an alternative. But personally, I think that is very hard nowadays to find due to the modern world pushing all of these vices. So if you found this video, maybe this is an actual message telling you to fix your life. If you found this video helpful, then leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment down below if you have any other methods, maybe you have any other ways you've quicked your addiction. And follow me on alternative platforms if you want to stay in touch and watch my videos. My name is Igor Nashkin and have a wonderful day.